Hello my friend, welcome to yet another video proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today. I'm here at my favorite place. I like to come here. I like to come here just to pray, just to seek God, just to spend some time worshiping without any disturbance, without any uh, anyone disturbing me. And what I do is at the same time when God's presence comes, when God speaks, then uh, I take out the camera and I record these videos that will bless you. So wherever you are, my dear brother, God wants to bless you. Wherever you are, my dear sister, God wants to bless you. I want you to know today, even as you watch this video, that distance isn't a barrier. Time is not a barrier. There's no barriers and limitations for our God. So uh, just trust and believe that even as you watch this video, God will do something amazing in your life. We've received so many testimonies and it's so encouraging. You know, my friends, um, I love to hear when God touches someone's life. I love to hear when someone's experiencing more of God's presence. I love to hear when someone's uh, gotten closer to God. Uh, by watching this video and don't get me wrong I don't, it's not that I don't love to hear uh, when you receive a financial blessing or you receive other types of blessings that's amazing I feel so much joy but when I see someone come closer to God oh my god my, my heart just my heart just melts it just I just feel so good and uh, we've received so many testimonies and I just give God all the glory honor and praise for that God is a good God hallelujah my friends I've been in a time of prayer because um, we're coming up to our Holy Spirit Fire uh, Crusade. It's going to be next week, Saturday, the 21st of October. And uh, I know, like I know, like I know, that people are going to be touched, people are going to be healed, people are going to be delivered. And God is so amazing. He's wonderful. We've already had the teams go out. They've put up posters all over. We've had radio advertising go out. We've had TV advertising. So I'm just trusting God and I want you to trust God with me. Pray with me that God will make it a massive success. What do I mean by success? I'm not talking about just a nice event. For me, success means that people will come there and they'll give their life to Jesus. That is success for me. So just pray that even as we do this event, many will come to Christ. Many will be healed. Many will be delivered. Many will experience His presence. And then I believe that God will accomplish this mission. In saying that, let's go into the message. You know, we've gotten a request from quite a lot of you uh, to pray Psalm 91. Pray Psalm 91 prayers. And um, it's not that I've been ignoring the request. I've actually seen it and I've noted it. Uh, but one thing I've noticed is that we should never ever just do things on our own. We should always wait for the leading of the Lord God Almighty. So what I did is, after getting your suggestions, I took it to the Lord and the Lord has given me permission to go ahead. So today we're going to be doing special, powerful prayers from Psalm 91. I hope you're ready. And this is for someone who's struggling with attacks of evil on their life. This is for someone who's struggling with fear. This is also for someone who's struggling with sleepless nights. Um, and just for anyone in general who just wants to live a good life in accordance with Psalm 91. There's three keys in Psalm 91 that I'm going to show you even as I begin to read through Psalm 91. So it's going to be amazing. God is going to touch you. God's going to do something amazing in your life. Are you ready? Go get your Bible quickly. Pause this video, get your Bible and go somewhere private. Have you got your Bible and you're on Psalm 91? Okay, let's go. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll read and where I see the key, I'll stop and I'll show you the key. And I want you to take these keys down because as you take these keys and apply them in your life, you will see, I guarantee you, you will see God come through for you. I'm telling you, this is something I've tested in my own life and I don't like to preach something unless I've tested it. This is something I've tested in my own life and I know like I know like I know that you will experience God's blessing. Psalm 91, the one who lives in the shelter of the Most High, who rests in the shadow of the Almighty. Let's stop there. This is talking about the presence of God. This is the first key. It, the one who lives in the presence of the Lord God Almighty. This is the one who experiences the protection of God. The one who lives in the presence. So the first key that we can learn from Psalm 91 is you need to live in that place of close commune and presence with God. There's something I call a constant presence lifestyle. And I'm hoping that before I die, before I finish my race on this earth, it will go around the world and become an international phrase, a constant presence lifestyle. And this is a state of being where you're constantly in God's presence. It's, it's, it actually comes from Psalm 91. Verse 2, we'll say to the Lord, you are my refuge 
and my God in whom I trust. The second key that we can see here, my friend, you have to make him your refuge. You have to make him your God in who you trust. You can have his presence around you, but you haven't yet made him your refuge. Make him your refuge. When things go wrong, when issues and trials come against you, when it looks like there's no money in your bank account to pay for the food that you need, when there's no food in your fridge, make God your refuge. Let us go on. And now we start to see the benefits of doing these two things. Just these two things already shows us benefits. He will surely deliver you from the hunter's snare and from the destructive plague. His feathers he will cover you under his wings and you will find safety. His truth will be your shield and armor. You need not fear the terror that stalks in the night, the arrow that flies in the day, the plague that strikes in the darkness, or calamity that destroys at noon. If a thousand fall at your side, or ten thousand at your right hand, it will not overcome you. Only observe it with your eyes and you will see how the wicked are paid back. You are my refuge, because you chose the Most High as your dwelling place. You see, let's stop here again my friends. Verse 9 again shows us key number 2. The key, the second key, the most important key is to make God your refuge. And it also highlights uh, key number 1. And it emphasizes them, showing us how important this is. And it shows us more benefits of doing this. No evil will fall upon your life. No affliction will approach your tent. For He will command His angels to protect you in all your ways. With their hands they will lift you up so that you will not trip over a stone. You will stomp on lions and snakes. You will trample young lions and serpents. The Lord speaks. Because he has focused his love on me, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. We see the third key over here. The key is to focus your love on God, to set your love on the Most High God. The third key and the final one is to set your love on the Most High God. As you do these three things, you will see all the promises and the benefits mentioned in Psalm 91 happen in your life. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in his distress. I will deliver him and I will honor him. I will satisfy him with long life and show him my deliverance. These are the keys in Psalm 91. Now my friend, I want us to pray powerful prayers. And uh, even as we take these keys and apply them in our life, I want us to pray powerful prayers. And these prayers, as you pray them, I know like I know like I know that God is going to bless you. God is going to heal you. God is going to deliver you. Your life will just never be the same again. Your life will never be the same again. You will experience God's glory. Hallelujah. Let us go. Let us begin to pray. You know, on this channel, we always begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. Let's just begin to lift up the name of Jesus. I hope you're in a private place where you can pray. I hope you're in a place where you can just touch the hem of his garment easily. If not, take your device, take your tablet, go somewhere private where you can pray. Let us begin to lift up the name of Jesus. Lord, you are my Savior. You are my Savior, Lord. You are the one who connected me back to God. Lord, I was lost, but you are the one who found me and brought me back to God. Lord Jesus, it is your mercy, it is your grace that shines on me, that makes my life well. Lord, when I'm sick, I cry out, I call on your name and you heal me. You are the deliverer. You are the one who God exalted above all, all things. God exalted you. You are our Lord and Savior. You are my personal Lord and Savior. Lord, I worship you. I praise you. Father God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, I lift up your name. I praise you. I honor you. Holy Spirit, I honor you and I welcome you in my life change my life my friend I hope you're just lifting up God wherever you are I hope you're just connecting with God and even as you do that wait for the presence to come on your life before we begin to pray wait for the presence Lord I just worship you I praise you I lift up your name you are worthy of all praise you are worthy of all honor you are worthy of all adoration you are worthy of all glory I worship you I praise you I glorify you I magnify you I lift up your name you are worthy Lord you are worthy of my praise. Be glorified. Be magnified. Be lifted high, God. Be lifted high, Lord Jesus. Be lifted high, Lord Holy Spirit. Even as you speak to me, even as you show me what to do, I promise to listen. Even as you show my dear friend what to do, my dear brother, my dear sister who is watching this video, they promise to do what you tell them to do. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. 
today even as we pray prayers from Psalm 91 Lord let us have success let us have breakthrough let us have deliverance from every evil let us have deliverance from every power that would want to attack us and Lord let us just have your presence in our life we pray this in the name of Jesus and we thank you Lord my friend let us begin to pray I'm going to put all these prayers within the description so that you can be blessed so that you can be uh, you can go along with me even as I pray and uh, you will just be blessed without any further delay let's get into it Lord we make you our refuge right now myself and my friend who's watching this video we make you our refuge we make you our refuge Lord we run to you in all situations we run to you we make you the one who we run to in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we set our love on you we set our love on you and we want to dwell in your presence Lord let us experience the secret place let us experience the shelter of the Most High I pray this in the name of Jesus deliver us from all danger deliver us from all evil deliver us from all demon deliver us from all witchcraft deliver us from all spiritual attacks deliver us from all physical attacks because we make you our refuge we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ Lord because we have made you our refuge cover us with your feathers cover us under your wings may we be covered by you constantly be our shield be our shield Lord Lord let your word be our shield in everything that we do let your word be our shield we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ and we thank you for it Lord today we come to you and we ask you in accordance with Psalm 91 remove all fear from us even as we get into your presence even as we make you our refuge and even as we set our love on you remove all fear from us Lord we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ Lord protect us from every disease and plague wherever there's a disease wherever there's a plague don't let it come near us Lord I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video who is sick in body who is sick and experiencing an attack of infirmity Lord because your word says in Psalm 91 that it won't come near us I pray for a prompt deliverance a prompt healing in the name of Jesus Christ Lord let a thousand fall at my side let ten thousand fall at my right hand Lord let a thousand fall at my dear friend's side let a, let ten thousand fall at their right hand but don't let it come near them don't let it come near us Lord don't let it come near us even as we make you our refuge Lord as we stay in your presence and as we set our love on you Lord in the name of Jesus Lord even as we come to you through Jesus Christ even as we set our love on you even as we make you our refuge even as we make you our fortress even as we set our love on you even as we come into your presence let us only see with our eyes the punishment of the wicked Lord don't let it come near us don't let it come near us let us just see let us observe and learn from other people's mistakes and not make mistakes ourselves Lord give us the grace to learn from other people's mistakes we pray in the name of Jesus Lord protect us don't let any evil approach our tent don't let any evil approach our children don't let any evil approach our siblings don't let any evil approach our parents don't let any evil approach us don't let any evil approach our property don't let any evil approach our tents don't let any evil approach our pets we pray in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord let your angels lift me up so that I won't kick my foot against a stone Lord let me become so strong in you that I trample down the young lion and the serpent under my foot I pray in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord and even as I set my love on you even as my dear friend sets his love on you even as my dear friend sets her love on you Lord I pray that you will just encompass us in your presence keep us with you keep us together with you keep us going with you we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ and we thank you Lord we thank you Lord for your divine deliverance divine deliverance 
from every situation, from every limitation, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. You alone are worthy. You alone deserve all the glory. You alone are worthy to be praised. You alone are worthy to be lifted up. Protect us, Lord, and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, if this video has blessed you and you want to sow a seed into this ministry to help us to push the gospel forward, you're more than welcome to do so. There's a secure link in the description below. You can actually follow that link and make a donation that God puts on your heart. And we really appreciate your giving. In saying that, we come to the end of this video. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time. God bless you.